Hello everyone and welcome back to Dominion's Expansion of Airmore. We're going on to the next turn. One step closer to the end of Kalem. And battles, apparently. Throne of Night. Alright, Reanimate Archers is done. Obsidian Wastes. Okay. Berman Heights. Give me the flaming arrows. There we go. Alright. Be on fire, Mammoth. How are you still alive with all those flaming javelins? Ah, we got a whole another line of them too. Okay, how many did we lose? Ten. Oh, fifteen. Two slingers, three triarius, and ten lizard auxiliaries. That's not a huge loss. Now they're trying to take back White Forest. With their god. Okay. Oh man, that's, that's a lot of ice elementals. The problem is that White Forest is still heavily under their dominion, so that's why he gets all these hit points fighting here. You really gotta change that. What I should probably do... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna move General Collius up to the front lines then. Try and help combat that. Also, our Prophet's up there too. Sneaking Enemy was discovered. Oh, jeez. I was not expecting independence to attack. Fanatics. Apparently our garrison held though. The sage is casting what they can. Oh man, look at my star fires. Huh. Okay. Cool. Teach them. Alright, General Collius. Oh, you have Astro Magic. Do we have access to teleport? Oh, that's three. Huh. Okay. Astral Ritual Range bonus plus one. We gotta have access to an Astral Magic item. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm, maybe not. What's the astral magic increase? Item. Maybe it's later in the construction tree. Eh. Hmm. It's okay.
No problem. I didn't even need to do that. Astral to level 3. So we'll do that this turn, then we'll cast Teleport next turn, and then we'll still get to the front lines faster than if we had just walked. Move up. You stay there. Move up. Supply usage is already at 120 here. This is just going to add another 66, so we should be fine there. And we're going to take these lizards up to the north anyway. Do we have another cauldron? Yes, we do. Okay. You can actually carry more. Let's grab the standard bearer. There we go. Get ready for the attack with that. Hmm. We will be needing some reinforcements to cover the losses we've had. But we should still be fine for now. Go up. Hmm. Oh boy, afflictions are starting to happen. Okay. That's alright. How many bishops do we have up here? You head there. You preach, defend. Okay. You head up. You will... Preach. That person's patrolling to bless our sacred troops. Okay, getting another bishop up there soon. Alright, I think that's it for this turn. Except for you, what are you doing? Are you casting Revenants, maybe? Um, you know what, let's move all of our Sages in one location. And you give that to someone else who's staying here. Arcades. All right, what boots do you have? All the re reinvigoration. Um. Hmm. Yeah, sure, just put them in the laboratory, it's fine. I want to have as many priests, a few priests over here with our sages to help cure their uh, ailments. And I think this person was casting Revenants, which is why they're on Defend right now. So, just do a little bit of that. And voila. Oh no, Animate Archers, that's what we were doing, weren't we? That's what we were doing. Of course. Okay, reanimate archers. There we go. And we should have enough to do it. Oh, you know what? Here, let's just do this. Shift M. Reanimate archers. There we go. And I was told that this person may be using their fire gem to decrease their fatigue, I guess, when casting spells. So we need to go into this screen and then do cons um, conservative magic gym usage so they only use it for what I want them to. And I probably should do it for the same for this person. Uh, you. There we go. That way they hopefully will use the fire gym and the item there just for the flaming arrows. Okay. Now we're done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, don't think they're gonna win this one. Yeah, they're not gonna win this one. Did we lose anybody? Two slingers. Oh well. 
A wave of religious zeal has swept the province, and a group of low-bone soldiers committed to your cause has joined your armies in Airmore. Okay. And now we can make you cast Teleport to the front line. Excellent. Now, who joined in? Exensus. All right. Well, they're going to sit there until a commander comes by and picks them up. So our reinforcements are here. We will have them head north. Um, Aeolus will stay here and protect the province with what he has right now. But Terminus and Coriolanus will move north along with you. And you guys, while you cure stuff, will also preach. Excellent. Research. This would be a kind of a good setup for communion, too, with all the astral stuff going on. But eh, I'm not going to delve into the communion stuff in this game. Mm. Okay, so our god's teleporting... They should be casting reanimate archers again, which they are. Yes. No, you're not. Why are you not? Shift M. Reanimate archers. Hmm. And let's do a little bit more alchemy. With air gems. We're not really using those. Turn those into death. Cool. We get another turn of reanimate archers this way. All right, Aeolus, army set up. Where's Janix? There you are. Excellent. And you will take all the archers. And you are going to fire at the, oops, large enemy monsters. Okay, so we're definitely going to need another fire mage up here with these guys. I have not set that up yet. You move up there. Do I need level 3 magic to make... Hold on, before I do this... Oh, it's level 4 to make that? Right, okay. Okay. Alright, you move up. They can do without your help for a couple turns. Looks like there's another army coming our way. We'll send them some reinforcements when we can. Um, you know what? Let's actually cancel this sage for right now. We'll move the new one over there. Kind of still want to keep making equites and bishops. Uh, you know what? We should probably try and use all the resources that we can. Mm. But at the same time, the javelins are pretty good. Never mind. We'll just stay with the lizards. Or maybe move back to Astatus. Sure, why not? Get some good old Aramore soldiers in here. Alright, so we're going to move him back to make some of those flaming helmets for our other mages that only level 2 fire. So that they are in the position to get level 3. And then cast Phoenix Power and then, yeah, so on and so forth. 
All right. Enter. Excellent. Okay. Good for them. Preach. Now our god is here. Or our general, sorry. Is here. First things first. Forge. That. More mammoths on their way. How many people are left here? Okay. Hold an attack. Lara. Uh, uh. Hold an attack closest. Hold an attack closest. I don't want them to get caught up in the mammoth's initial charge. They're going to need more units. At some point. Um. Need more money. Eh. I'll take those guys up. Transfer them to Aeolus. And let's cancel the recruitment here because we definitely need more reinforcements down here to combat the mammoth attacks we've had. So we'll get some more Astati. So, I think we are ready. I think. Let's combine the armies here. Okay. Fire at the closest enemy. those guys up there and Nightheart are you the one that's afflicted yes you are okay okay oh Vicanus we need you to cast divine blessing and then do whatever you want to do uh, you should probably get some guards Okay. General Collius is not going to be participating in this fight. Alright, so we need all of the all of these things to go with the army. So this cauldron will go with one of our casters. Uh eh, Volcanus, our prophet, why not? And Janix should get the best stuff. But all we have is a sword, and I don't want him to be in melee combat, so that doesn't matter. Um, let's put this in the laboratory. Take a look at these items again. Terminus, put that in the laboratory. Okay. So for boots, we have the boots of the messenger, boots of quickness, which gives us, well, quickness. Does that affect ranged? Yeah, alright. One extra action per round of combat. Okay. Map move plus two. Sure. 
attack skill and strength plus four. Not going to affect our precision, which is what I would want that to. Um, protection 20. Whereas Janix has the, this thing. 24, defense minus three, encumbrance four. Oops. Yeah. Don't want that. Okay. All right, let's do this. We will attack Kalim's capital. We are ready. Moving out. Although, we will need somebody to defend this, won't we? Crap. Did not think about that. Okay. I guess we'll have Coriolanus stay behind. And patrol. And then maybe also keep this person on patrol. So that they can bless the people staying back. Whew. Alright. Where's Richard going? Alright, almost into level 6 construction, which is what I was looking for. Excellent. Oh, actually, you know what? We only have 38 left, so we can put the rest in enchantment. Life after death is pretty cool. Hmm. Right, that's that's gonna be kinda cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for the fun of it, we'll keep going down enchantment. In turn. Battle in White Forest. Aquites are more than enough of a match for their troops. Although it looks like we get lost a couple. Boom. How many did we lose? Three. That's a shame. Feel pretty comfortable in that we're going to win this one. Oh boy. Didn't think about the god flying back there. Marge is just killing our own people. Oh god, I hope we're not killing our own revenants, because there's some that are close there. Gosh, still 
136 hit points. No casters were lost. 33 of our archers were lost. Not a huge deal, I guess. 11 auxiliaries. Okay. I can take that. Uh, no, you move up there. And you will make another helmet. Oh, there we go. Okay, so Rod of the Phoenix. Spell Incinerate. Number effects one, one person, 18 damage. Armor does not protect against the spell. It, it can target victims over long distances and is one of the very few fire spells that can be used underwater. Oh. Evening star. Plus two attack, wind versus shields. Fire and weakness. So it adds fire damage and then weakness. Hmm. Dragon scepter. Flame Bolt, 40 plus, one person. With this spell, a mage can send a powerful bolt of flame towards a target. 22 plus, meaning that the damage has increased the higher level caster. Hmm. Dragon Mastery 1. What? Summon and control various kinds of smaller dragons. Really? That is interesting. Ethereal crossbow. The hazy quarrels of this crossbow pierce all armor and slay the soul of anyone hit. This missile can, uh, weapon can also be used underwater. Magic resistance does negate its effect. Hmm. If it hits, though, it kills. Banefire crossbow, 13 damage with area of decay. Adds two precision to the user. It is a cursed weapon. Standard of the Damned. Drain Life Spell. Fear plus five. The standard drains life energy from enemies and adds it to the owner of the standard. The standard also causes fear in all nearby enemies. Banner of the Northern Star. Start a battle spell. Makes all wizards on the battlefield more powerful in astral magic. Wow. Wow! Holy sh holy crap! All mages get astral magic plus one. Huh? Holy jeez! That is. It says astral pearls required two, but since this is part of an item, that just goes off anyway, right? The widow of the banner will have his protection against magic decreased due to the astral power rushing through him. Good god. That's awesome. Corpse Candle. Are summoned to help their summoner in battle. They appear at the edge of the battlefield. A corpse candle is a glowing sphere appearing like the light from a bright green lantern. In combat, its light intensifies and anyone touched by the light will start to age at increased speed. It is very difficult to hit the corpse candle in combat due to its great speed and small size. Huh. Magic command once. So you can command magical beings. You get fear plus five. Wraith crown. Dark vision 100. Undead command 50. Wraith crowns are worn by the wraith lords of the underworld. The crown will summon undead servants at the start of a battle. The wearer of the crown will also be able to command undead beings as if he was a necromancer. The crown will also make its wearer ethereal and almost invulnerable to non-magical weapons. That's cool. Skull face. Spell Hordes of Skeletons. Death Magic Bonus plus one. Undead Command ten. Oh my gosh. Death Magic Level five. Astro Magic Bonus one. There we go. Star Shine Skull Cap. Magic Resistance two. Okay. Ten Astral Pearls. God, so many options. Like, we're. Okay, so Janix is either going to don the Wraith Crown 
or the skull face. I'm thinking the wraith crown to give him undead command. Because that's pretty cool. And then some of our casters can get skull face. Hmm. Bone armor. Cold resistance 5. Armor crafted from the ribs of lepers. It is inscribed with runes that leech the life force from living beings. The wear is also partially protected from cold. Really? The robe of invulnerability is highly coveted by mages as it offers the best possible protection without encumbering their spells and casting at all. Morale plus four. Hmm. That skull is on fire and adds another plus one bonus. Only takes level one magic. Hmm. That's a lot cheaper than forging these um, helmets. So sure, let's make those instead. Gosh, so many items just opened up. Like, what can General Collius make? Acts of hate. Single-handed weapon, poison resistance minus 15. Does magic damage, but then also does fatigue. Which does stun damage. And diseases the enemies. Yep. Tree Lord Staff. Nature magic bonus plus two? Oh, but you need to be nature magic level six to even make this. Hmm. Wraith Sword. Partial Life Drain. We could basically make like the Lich King, is what it sounds like to me. Limited regeneration. Hmm. Ritual range bonus plus one. Stealth boost plus 40. Item is cursed. Ring of Wizardry. Magic bonus one. The ring may be the most powerful of all magic enchanting enhancing objects. It increases the mag mage's power in all paths of magic. It makes it easier. So it has penetration bonus too. Holy sh Oh, but you need to be National Mage level 8. Holy crap. Ring of Sorcery. Mage's power in all paths of sorcery and makes it easier to penetrate... Wait, what? What's the difference between sorcery and magic? Or wizardry? What the hell is sorcery? What? Oh, Skull Mentor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. But we already have Sages. Nature Magic Bonus 1. God, there's so many things. There's so many things! Alright, so thanks for watching this episode, everybody. We will continue this next time as we siege down the capital of Kalem and then have our army march south. And we're going to make the Lich King, I think. Aramor's version of the Lich King, anyway. I will see you all next time. Take care.